Earlier this year, I went to the Knott's Berry Farm Boysenberry Festival for the first time. As soon as I saw these Peanuts cat toys on sale, I knew I wanted to make headbands for me and my friends to wear at the park. The first thing I did was disassemble everything. First, I seam ripped the opening at the back of the toy. I removed the fluff and the catnip. I tried to keep the fluff aside that was clean enough to reuse, but I also have fiberfill at home for DIY projects. Once I removed all of the fluff, I made sure to remove that piece of plastic used for the crinkle sound. I seam ripped the top of the head to remove the feather, and I also seam ripped the seam in order to remove the tag. I repeated this for all of my characters. Once I had just the fabric shell, I turned this inside out to sew all of the openings closed that I seam ripped open, except for that original back seam. After sewing, I turned these back right side out, stuffed again with fiber fill, and hand sewed them closed with matching thread. I did this for all of my characters. Now that we have all of the characters sewn, it's time to attach them to a headband. What's fun about making your own headband is the possible character combinations. I could have made matching headbands so the two sides were the same characters for Snoopy, Woodstock, and Charlie Brown, but I decided to mix match and pair them up instead. I made most of ours with Snoopy and Woodstock per everyone's preferences, but I really wanted to make one Snoopy-Charlie Brown combo as well, so my husband wore this one. To secure it to the headband, I pinned the characters loosely in place where I wanted them and sewed around and into the band with black thread to make sure they were pretty secure. And that's it! I'm glad I found these toys on sale for like $5 a pack so we could wear something fun and themed together without spending much money. We got stopped so many times at the park by people asking where we bought these from and I got to sheepishly say I made them myself. When we got back from the park, I decided to take apart my husband's to turn these cat toys into dog toys for our pups. To do this, I simply removed the plushes from the headband, reopened that back seam, inserted a squeaker, and hand sewed it all back up. I could save that headband for a future project and the pups can enjoy their new toys. It's a win-win. Thanks so much for stopping by to craft and hang out with me. We'll talk again soon. Bye.